Good night, I am Mark Seal. St. Angela's and Charles F. Broom are leading the girls and boys title races at Knapsack after today's semi-finals at the Usain Bolt Complex. There were only two finals, the open high jump for both genders, and in the girls, St. Angela's lead on 14 points from St. Lucie on 9.33, and there's a tie for third on 6.33 between Wilkie Cumberbatch and Bear Primary. Now, in the boys, Charles F. have 15 points, St. Cyprian second on eight, while Wilkie are third on six. Meanwhile, on the track, the athletes were pushing for a qualification to next week's finals. Let's look at the semi-finals in the 400 meters and the under 13s, and the 300 meters for the under 11s. So the under 13 girls, 400 heat number one is away. We'll wait and see how this one develops going up the back stretch. Lane eight is always the illusion. Ariel Archer, a run week's going up pretty hard. But the action's going to be in the middle of the track, really, with Smith White of Cuthbert Moore going well. She's in lane four. We got lane five. Ashton Simmons doing a decent job of Eden Lodge. Eden Lodge coming into your picture there. Here comes Smith with a tall, lanky run. 100 meters to go. Let's see what shapes up. Ah, Eden Lodge with the lead. Ashton Simmons. She has got a lengthy lead on them. This is what you call a class act. Puts them to bed with just about five meters left. Crosses the line now. And coming in for that second spot looks like a very, very close one there. Lane number three looks to be Price and Smith coming at the line at the same time in this heat number two. You got Michelle William. Williams, Renner Weeks, uh, Soraya Young of Mount Tabor in three, Tanisha Arthur of Bay Primary, uh, Teresa Valentine of Cuthbert Moore in five, Tanika Griffith of LT Gay. We've got six Megan Cox of St. Stephen's, Zarina Williams of Good Shepherd in seven, and Zania Roach of Eden Lodge in eight. Well, they've got about 120 now left in it, and we can see the athlete from Eden Lodge is right there among the front runners. She's going to have her kick and perhaps eat it too. Let's wait and see how it develops in the middle of the trap for Cuthbert Moore, who going beautiful is Ballantyne. That's Teresa Ballantyne of Cuthbert Moore. In lane number three, though, is Tanisha Arthur of Bay Primary doing a very good job. She's going to hold them off. Bay Primary striking uh, their first victory uh, of the day. So Bay Primary crossing the line first. The under 13 boys, 400. Heat number two. And 100. And a 50 should be very keen to see how this one develops. But it's Jalon Howell of Bay Primary who looks to rule the roost at the moment. He's got about 50 meters left in it. It's going to be definitely Jalon Howell Barnard shouting. He's going to take the victory here in heat number two. Representing Bay Primary crosses the line now. Coming home for second. The Wilkie coming back here. That's Nikolai Cox. We've got the first heat of the under 11 girls 300 underway. What a fast start there. Looks at the athlete. Uh, from St. Giles, that Sealy Bino going really well. Here comes some of the other athletes with Bailey's really rolling the roost right now. On the inside of her, it's going to be from Hillaby Turner's Hall. Nurse is coming with a grand run with about 50 to go. It's going to be a one two dash for the finish. It's going to be Nurse. Is she going to get home? No, she ties up too late. And it's going to be Bailey's alongside Hillaby Turner's Hall with about 120 left now. Very, very even. Here comes uh, Tania Lashley of Christchurch girls there, but it's really going to be laying through the pint size uh, assassin there of St. Stephen's. Tania Strong is really putting on a show. Here comes Applewit though, St. Giles. It's going to be very, very, very easy though for Applewit who cruises, shuts down just about now. We have more knapsack later on, but moving on to cricket, where West Indies women needed 12 runs off the final over in the first T20 International today to record their first win on their tour of New Zealand. But that proved too much as they went down by eight runs. The home side, having been sent into bat, reached 167 for six. That innings was set up by Katie Martin with 54 and skipper Susie Bates with 49, producing a 76-run second wicket stand. Now, when replied, the Windies women got up to 159 for 6. Haley Matthews made 53 and the captain, Stefani Taylor, ended not out on 51. Lee Kasparit took 3 for 35 and Sophie Devine 2 for 27. Now, game 2 of that 5-match series is set for Friday. In basketball, a game-high 18 points by Darren Hunt guided Station Hill Cavaliers to a six-point victory over Barbados Hilton Resort Warriors in the co-operator's general insurance BABA Premier League last night. 
Playing at the Wildy Gym in the doubleheader, Cavs took the second game, while in the first game, St. John Sonics edged Combine School Tridents. CBC's Kamal Haynes reports on the action. Game number one, Sonics in the green up against Tridents. First quarter action, and Chris Holder gets things going for Tridents. But the Sonics scored the majority of the points in this quarter. Romain Lovell completes the layup off the backboard. Then Captain Stefan Clark follows up with a long two as Sonics ends the first quarter with a 7 point lead, 19-12. Second quarter action and Tridents came back out with a bang. Renico Brewster off the backboard and fouled for the 3 point play. And he made no mistake, off the rim and in the net. Tridents kept the points coming. Captain Rashid Maynard got involved in the action, sinking the big three. He ended with a game high 27. Tridents end the first half in front with a four point lead, 37 33. Now to the third quarter. Sonics, in search of some much needed baskets, turned to Michael Gamble. He collected 22 points. Jamar King then chipped in with a big three to help his side. Still, the Tridents found themselves 10 points clear at the end of the third quarter, 61-51. Final quarter now and all to play for for both sides. Sonics went into overdrive with Lovell collecting two more of his 22. Sonics managed to erase their deficit to take the lead into the final moments of the game and held on to win 74-71. Now to the final game of the night. Warriors in the yellow up against Cavaliers. Ricardo Toussaint with the first points of the game for the Warriors. Cavs kept close by. Darren Hunt converts. He had a game high 18. But the Warriors did enough to edge the Cavs at the end of the first quarter, 16-15. Second quarter and the Warriors kept the points coming. Justin Powell delivers a dunk. Cavs made certain to keep the deficit marginal. Saeed Norville with the basket for two. But the Warriors held on to lead into the halftime break 29-27. Fast forward to the final quarter. The only quarter where the Cavs were able to get any daylight between them and the Warriors. Dwayne Kelman converts the layup. And the Cavs held on to take the win 67-61 to complete an impressive come from behind victory over the Warriors. Kamal Haynes, CBC Sports. As promised, back to the semi-finals of Knapsack and specifically the 100 meter sprints for the under 13s, under 11s and under 9s. And a very clean start. It's very, very even after the first 10 meters. But you can see making way in lane number two. That's Kennedy of Arthur Smith going really well. Kennedy is going to take it for us. Arthur Smith very tight on the line. Arthur Smith in there. Fastest time here. Valentine in lane four. Let's see how this one pans out. In lane number three going decent. Here comes lane four. Valentine of Cuthbert Moore. She is going to storm away from the no. Valentine to the four. Sprints home. Second position, very tight there, but it's going to be in lane number three. I make it uh, best there of St. Christopher Primary. The under 11 boys, 100. They're off and running. Best there is the eager there. Looks like uh, uh, Jaden Cummins are going very well too for Good Shepherd. But let's see how they shape up. It's going to be lane number three. That's Cummins of Good Shepherd. Trapped there by. Uh, more of West Terrace in the under nine girls uh, 100 meters at the moment lane number three very keen and she's looking good we've got uh, in lane number four coming through there as world of eight across the Edwards finishing like a train but it's going to be three and four very very tight there the athlete for Eden Lodge coming there late that's Zara Levine on the starters orders set and they're off. Clean. Well, a bit wobbly there. Oh, here we go, left to right. 
so let's you know we've got uh, Ina Lodge in there making a, a, a grand move. St. Lawrence is there. Uh, let's see who's coming through the middle in lane number four. That's the thing. St. Lawrence done a really good job. Let's black it up, St. Lawrence. Oh my word! She wants to run all day and like goes around the curb looking to run out of 200 meter mark as well. Level after the first 50. Here comes lane number one. That's Seely of St. Cyprian's going really well in the middle, middle of the track there for Wiggy Overwatch. That's Gil. Gil's going to come through to win it. And following him in lane number five, that's Sandyford of Luther Thorne. We've got lane six is going to be big up, but let's see how it goes. This is Bailey's looking apart already. Lane number three that's got to be rolling. Edwards coming through there. And next to him is going to be Luther Thorne. Brathwaite is going to cross the line. Then it's going to be a Devonish of Roland Edwards. So Micaiah Brathwaite of Luther Thorne first across the line. Well, here are some of the events happening tomorrow, March 15th. Day two of the BSAP finals at the National Stadium from 9 a.m. Live coverage on TV8 and Radio 98.1 The One. The BABA Premier League continues at the Barbados Community College with Tridents against Warriors in the 6 p.m. fixture, followed by Sonics against Cavs at 8. And the BFA Premier League also has a doubleheader. There's the Empire, Paradise and Dames in the 7 p.m. tie then Wales and Silver Sands at 9, all live on MTTV's channel 116. That's Sports Night, I am Mark Seal and I'll be back tomorrow night with highlights from BSAC and other sports. Have a good night.